hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can get 300 dollars bonus from chase bank very easy guys very open uh, i'm currently using this account i have a affiliate link in the actual comment section pin so if you want to go ahead and click on this one if you're interested in getting into this deal let me simply break you down what are the requirements and how you can actually benefit from this bonus <clears throat> i signed up for this card last year the bonus was just 200 hours uh, now it's 300 hours so I, I guess this is even better deal the reason for it simply because is that if you are a new chase customer and if you're looking to open a new checking account chase is offering you this deal over here so essentially when you open a new chase total checking account using the link down in the comments and set up a direct deposit within 90 days of the coupon enrollment <clears throat> you will get the bonus essentially over here you will see that <clears throat> the way how you are going to waive the monthly fee something that is very important a lot of these big banks have a monthly fee and some of them requires you to have certain amount of money that uh, is your current balance and it will be your uh, main balance so you will be able to waive the fee so how are you gonna waive the fee of your total checking account with chase all you gotta do is to keep a balance of 1500 hours every single day which means that you deposit this money you don't touch this money right and then you're gonna get a 300 hours bonus and you're not gonna pay any monthly fee very very easy guys this is the full breakdown in three steps how you're going to get the 300 hours so first of all you are going to open a new account online this offer is only available online using the link that is down pinned in the comment under the video very important is that <clears throat> this offer expires by april 17th okay you still have a couple of months second step will be after you click on the link and you sign up is to set up a direct deposit in the app it's very easy you have 90 days to do that you just go on the app and you click set up direct deposit and you input the information okay could be from your employer uh, there is many ways that you can actually proceed with direct deposit and third step is the sweetest part you are going to get your funds your money your 300 hours within only 15 days this is unheard of almost every other bank will you know take three months six months 90 days you know until you actually uh, process and you receive your funds so this is why i like chase and it's it's been good so far i haven't had any issues i've been receiving my direct deposits uh, a day earlier right uh, no issues so i think if you guys are interested if you're looking to get some uh, you know good bank the biggest bank in the us and get some money out of uh, opening a new checking account <clears throat> of course guys if you if you uh, are not looking to open checking account it's up to you but a lot of you probably looking to start new year with some you know uh, free money if you are about to open your checking account uh, why wouldn't you get 300 dollars right that's a good question over here if you're interested guys check up the link that is pinned in the comment section hi guys in today's video we are going to go over another bank bonus offer in this example over here we're having a credit card from capital one which offers you a 200 dollar cash bonus once you spend only 500 dollars within the first three months but that's not even the best thing the best thing is over here that this particular card will give you unlimited 3% cashback on dining, entertainment, streaming services, and the best of all, grocery stores. And this card comes with $0 annual fee. So let's jump into the details. First of all, guys, the link from this offer will be pinned in the comment under the video itself. It is my affiliate link, guys, so don't worry about it. I opened an account with this card last year uh unfortunately i didn't get this cash bonus offer but so far i haven't had any issue with the card uh, very good uh, protection also uh, things are doing very fast as well uh, no particular issues i i've been getting a cash back earlier i've been getting uh, 
refunds if I dispute the charges, absolutely no issues at all. I'm saying this because I have other credit cards and I have plenty of issues with other cards during disputes and so on and so forth. So let's jump into the details and see what is the process, what you guys have to do and how you can actually take advantage of the card. So the first thing that you want to pay attention to over here is that this card comes with a locking uh, function. You can uh, essentially lock the card while not using the card from distance. You can actually set up a, a face ID verification when you actually use the card so no one else can use the card if you're not there in front of the card. The process of you getting the $200 is very, very easy, especially if you qualify by, uh, you know, having a good credit score in advance. You're going to get this $200 cash bonus once when you spend the $500 within the first three months. So $500 needs to be spent in the first three months. I think this is very, very reasonable. Uh, I've seen card offers where people have to spend $3,000, 5000 $10,000 to get like 500 hours bonus so i think this is very very reasonable there are certain fees associated with if you want to uh, you know transfer balances from other cards there is no annual fee this is very very good guys you need to really uh, focus on cards without annual fee and of course the best thing that you could focus here is that you're going to get unlimited three percent cashback this is not like you have a limit of thousand two thousand five thousand dollars uh, this is unlimited cashback and again this is on grocery stores stuff that you shop all the time then you have unlimited 3% cashback on dining on entertainment and streaming services like usually stuff some of them could be used over the week some of them could be used during the weekend but grocery stores you can do every single day so guys again if you're interested check my link that is pinned in the comment under the video and let's go to the lower right corner then go all the way up to the three straight lines in the upper right then click on creator tools now guys we click over here on monetization tab and we come to the first option which is creator marketplace essentially over here guys you are going to put yourself for grab for partnerships and deals between you and brands you and businesses First thing you want to go through the eligibility criteria. In this example over here, you need to be at least eight years, 18 years old. Uh, you need to have uh, 10,000 real followers, guys. Obviously, TikTok improved the algorithm, so now people who are buying followers can no longer do so. The third option, of course, is that you should have at least three videos posted for the last 30 days they will they, they want to target real people because the bots you know simply could create account and not have any content published the next requirement is to have at least 1000 real video views or more in the last 30 days so i think that's very very easy to achieve uh, the last is of course that your content should follow the guidance from uh, tiktok the guidance from the community is it worth it well i have a second channel with over 70,000 followers, I received two brand deals over there. Uh, one was from the jewelry store, like a handmade small uh, craftsman. They offered me 400 hours. I agree, but nothing happened, right? The deal expired without the, 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 the store sending me the goods. The store is supposed to send me the goods and I should, you know, take a picture or small video and publish it with the small link to the product nothing happened they didn't send me anything uh, i believe the way how the whole marketplace is structured it's it's not perfect simply because no one is following up from tiktok no one is putting time frames between when i receive the 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 offer like for example they don't have a time frame until the seller should ship the product and there is no tracking system to see what is the next step right everything is very random everything is essentially based on what uh, the both parties agreed upon and no one checks anything so i couldn't say that this is the best way to make money i couldn't say that's the worst way either but i would say that there are a lot of companies a lot of brands that are running like a small tournaments for example if you want to participate sometimes the, the actual reward could be like a five thousand ten thousand twenty thousand dollars 
uh, for creating or editing a content or creating a, sp a small like a commercial for something. I mean, if you are a video editor, if you are, uh, you know, choreographer, if you, if you create content for others, if you have a small, you know, social media marketing agency, probably this, this could be a, a way for you to put uh, your company or your team on the map. So you can do stuff for someone. You can probably find somebody that you can sign up a long-term, you know, partnership and you don't have to worry about. If somebody likes you, he, they can, you know, uh, purchase a, a package so you can make uh, every month one commercial or every week one commercial so you can secure a big bag. But aside from that, waiting for a random brand deals, I think it's not the best way to make money on TikTok. You want to make sure to check my other videos on the topic how to make much more money much easier on the TikTok platform. There is a new update of the terms from Snapchat, as you can see over here, started and effective already since January 1st. Scrolling down, introduction, welcome to Spotlight and entertainment platform user generated content. Okay, we know that, scroll down. Please also review privacy policy. Okay, as described in more detail below, you may receive payments for your services in connection with your Spotlight activity if your Snapchat account, the snaps you submit to Spotlight and your payment accounts defined below, satisfy the eligibility criteria. Only a small percentage of creators submitting snaps to Spotlight will receive payments. Guys, things are getting serious over here. Requirements and rights for content you submit to Spotlight. Any eligible Snapchat user can submit content to Spotlight. Any snaps submitted to Spotlight are public content as the terms defined. Okay. If you're using services on behalf of the businesses where your business is principal in place, blah, blah, blah. Because snaps are public content for any snaps you submit to spotlight without limiting any other obligations that you may have you must have a necessary third party rights including without limitations so obviously guys they're hitting very very hard on reused content or content that was created by somebody else and you don't have rights to that okay all creators and snaps submitted to spotlight must comply with the spotlight terms creators who did not comply according to snap moderator algorithms may not be distributed and deemed ineligible for payments. Spotlight payments eligibility. Pay very close attention over here, guys. So first of all, in order to be eligible for payments, you must submit qualifying snaps. Be a qualifying creator and satisfy all payment account eligibility. Described below. First of all, what is it qualifying snaps? To be considered qualifying snaps, the snaps that you submitted to Spotlight during the eligibility period must have performed well enough in Spotlight during the eligibility period, calculated based on our proprietary formula to have accumulated at least 10,000 total unique views, included at at least 10 unique snaps submitted on the least 5 different days. Guys, this was 1,000 before, now it's 10,000. 10,000 unique video views. Do you see what we're even talking about? At least 10 unique snaps submitted of at least 5 snaps utilizing snap creative tools. So you have to use one of these lenses, filters or sounds to be eligible. Your video might get 10,000 views, right? But if you didn't use none of these, special uh, snapchat creative tools you're not gonna get eligible for for the money so it's crazy but i told you you need to pay very close attention what's going on over here qualifying creators to be considered qualifying creator you must meet all of the following criteria below your country should be eligible you must have profile set as public your snap account must be at least one month old and you must have at least 1000 followers here is the payment account eligibility. In order to be eligible to receive payments, you must all satisfy the payment account eligibility. Okay, what are they? Payments will be allocated in accordance with proprietary payment formula, blah, blah, blah. 
whether you reach the threshold and amount of payment you may be eligible to receive may also be impacted by moderation or content suggestion algorithm procedures this what does it mean they're gonna cut you something or what payment amount for eligible creators will be determined based on final numbers of crystals we have recorded for what creators qualify activity during the given period so first of all if you're an individual, you must be a legal resident of eligibility country, okay, to have submitted qualified snaps. You must have reached the legal age, at least 16. You must provide us with complete and accurate contact information, including legal first and last name, email, phone number. Okay, you or your business entity applicable must create and complete all necessary requirements for payment accounts. We reserve the right on behalf of ourselves, our affiliates, our third-party payment providers to require verification of the content information. So as you can see over here, guys, things are getting much more strict here, okay? So now, if before you need only 1,000 video views to get eligible for payment, now you need 10,000. And you need 1,000 followers, and you need to utilize the creator tools the lenses the sounds to be eligible for all this which is is simply you know filtering the people who will be making money even more now once we're over here what you're going to do is you're going to come over to spotlight now this is obviously my spotlight okay you get the whole point of it but spotlight is just like reels or it's like tiktok you keep scrolling down and you go get more stuff to watch you get more stuff to follow etc now how do you make money off of it basically all you're going to need to do is just have a proper account to add videos on Spotlight. Like, now, as you can see, you can upload any video onto Spotlight. So you can just go ahead and upload videos on Spotlight. And once you start getting views, you can actually monetize yourself through the settings. So you're going to come here. You're going to go to settings. You're going to scroll down where it says, I need help. Okay. Or you can even report a problem, but I'm going to go with, I need help. Once you do that, it brings you to support. Once it comes to support, you're going to contact the people at Snapchat support to monetize your spotlight if you have enough views and enough followers, and that should do it for you. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn on the dark mode on Snapchat. Let's launch the Snapchat app. Then you want to scroll down and you want to click on your gear icon in the top right corner. When you're at the settings, you want to scroll down to the app appearances, the last option over here. When you click on it, you simply can switch the modules from always dark to always light. You can also match the actual iOS appearance settings. For example, I do have a dark theme on my phone currently. And if I leave this function match the system default, it will simply match and it will have a dark theme. The second option, of course, is to always be light. And the third option will, of course, to always be dark. As you saw, it's just changed. It took a while. Also, Snapchat offers something different, such as the customization and the appearances. So essentially, you can actually change in not only the layout, but the colors, the UI, the experience. So you can play around with this. Uh, I haven't seen other apps having these functions to completely change the the whole look and make it so custom for your own uh, version but i mean if you if you're up to this you can go ahead and, and try to to find the new ways for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can actually delete your snapchat account it's very easy i want you to pay attention okay it's not easy simply because they didn't make it easy but i'm gonna show you and i'm gonna make it easy let's launch the snapchat app first when you're at your account i want you to first of all click on the upper right corner on the gear icon okay hit the gear icon this will launch the settings menu on your snapchat now i want you to scroll slowly 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 all the way to the bottom this is where you're gonna find account actions the last option over here click on delete account you see this option right second to the last delete account when you click on delete account you will have an option to input your username your password or your phone number instead whatever option you choose then you click next then you have to click delete or deactivate your account 
this is the new update for 2024 so in this case you will have up to 30 days if you change your mind to go back and recover your account this is very important guys once this 30 day period expires you cannot get your account back anymore but this is how you delete your snapchat account very easy very simple with just three clicks over here guys for more tips and tricks like this subscribe and come back for more hi guys in this video we're going to go through the new snapchat spotlight requirements for you to be eligible to generate revenue and getting paid from them okay this is the new update effective january 1st so this is very very fresh so all the people that are currently in the program most likely will be affected as well so the most important part over here is that there are changes of the requirements and the rights to the content that you can submit also there is uh, changes in a way in which the content will be handled you have to use a particular things elements to be eligible for you to satisfy the requirements first thing first <clears throat> very important so first for the for the creators is that for you to be qualified you should fall under the eligibility country so you want to make sure that your country is part of the eligibility list otherwise you're not going to be able to apply even if you met any other of the criterias the second step over here is that you have to qualify your snaps meaning that in eligibility criteria and period for the spotlight you should accumulate at least 10,000 total unique video views and this include at least 10 unique snaps submitted or at least five in the, in at least five different days consider it of at least five snaps utilizing creative tools such as lenses filters and sounds so guys very very important so to be eligible you need to have at least 10,000 total unique video views okay this is a threshold top 10k views included at least 10 unique snaps submitted on at least five different days so in five different days you should submit at least 10 different snaps and they should generate at least 10,000 views okay this is individual 10,000 views okay each video has to generate 10,000 views unique and on top of all that you should utilize the lenses the filters and the sounds if you miss some of these criteria you not going to be eligible for it and very important like i mentioned check your country list first because <clears throat> if you don't have that well if your list is if if your country is not part of the list you cannot get paid because your country is not eligible for last but not least i want to mention over here that uh, to be qualified as a creator right you should uh, have on your profile on your snapchat account at least one month old presence okay and you must have at least 1000 followers so this is very important let's wrap everything around check your country if your country is eligible that's okay then check your account if you have 1000 followers and if you have your account at least for the last 30 days on or 30 days old okay and then you should qualify by utilizing the 10,000 video views unique video views on each of the snaps that you create in the last five days and then you want to make sure that you have at least five snaps that are utilizing the creative tools lenses filters sounds to be eligible for the new program updates okay guys for more tips and tricks like this subscribe and come back for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can block some of your friends on snapchat very easy very simple let's launch the snapchat up first the only thing that i should mention before we start thinking is that you can only block friends you cannot block random people on your feed this is a major downside but i will go through this later on so let's see over here we have these friends over here two of them right let's click on the first one all we want to do right now is when you go to their profile you want to click on the top right corner on the three dots okay when you're at the person that you want to block you click on the three dots on the top right corner 
and then on the pop-out menu i want you to click on the first option which is manage friendship then you have the option to block them you have the option also to remove the friend right maybe you don't want to block them you just don't want to be friend with them anymore also if you want to escalate the situation if there is a reason for escalation you can simply report them this is how you can block someone on snapchat that is part of your friends another reminder if you try to do the same thing with random person from the feed of, of snapchat you're not going to be able to do it i don't know why snapchat doesn't allow you to block people that are not part of your friends for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can share a tiktok video on snapchat with just two simple clicks let's launch the tiktok app first let's look for a video that we want to share so for our example over here we are going to pick this video over here let's say for example we want to share this video to snapchat let's click on the arrow under the comment section and then you see you have one menu two menu three menus right so what you want to do you want to focus on this menu over here and then you want to click on snapchat chats okay this will automatically launch the messages on your snapchat and you can select to who of your friends to send this video for okay usually you will have this snapchat option over here but this uh, usually works on other videos this particular video i don't know why it's not available but if we go on other video you will see that you can actually send this as a new post on snapchat as well for more tips like this guys subscribe and like this video hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can share instagram reels videos on the snapchat very easy guys very simple let's launch the instagram app and let's take a look at the feed let's try to find something that we like that is suitable remember it has to be suitable for the format of snapchat this looks like a cool video because snapchat likes videos like this fun so you want to click on the paper airplane under the actual video you see there is a heart there is a comment section and then click on the paper airplane then you want to scroll down on this menu over here you want to scroll to the section and the last option is snapchat you want to click on the snapchat button and then you will be able to set this as a brand new post on your own account you will be able to share it okay for more tips like this guys subscribe and like this video